What is up guys, be like here and today we're back in action for another crush landing And uh, sorry it's been a couple days guys, but we started mod sauce and I was kind of busy So I haven't really had time to play or record uh, But today we're going to test out a few theories and I'm also going to um, uh, Show you some stuff that I've done So I haven't really done that much, but I have done some stuff um, Also, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point, make sure to go ahead and click that like button Really help me out I love your faces even more, I already do. So today, before we get started, let's go ahead and summon a few creatures. You guys smashed the crap out of the like button last time, so we're going to do some pretty cool stuff. Uh, let, let's go summon two of these guys. So I've been told that the color of the, the thing doesn't matter. So what we're going to do is we're going to test this theory. And um, of course, this probably won't prove uh, whether it's true or false, but... Uh, we're going to test the theory by spamming a couple of these guys. So I'm actually going to get, uh, let's see, eight of these guys. Let's see. So we're going to spam some stuff. So let me let me grab let me grab four of these. Oh, um, wow, that's expensive. Uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and let me grab let me just grab all of these emeralds here. Um, so. Is this guy good? Yeah, that guy's good. What does he trade? Okay, he trades the same thing. So let's go ahead and get uh, four of these dudes, and then let's get two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's uh, let's get a couple more of these dudes. Now let's go ahead and do some of this guy right here. Sweet. Uh, one, two, three, four. We're gonna do four of these guys, and uh, that's because we're gonna spam two of them in a row. And I actually I need one more, don't I? Uh, let's see. Do you trade any other stuff? No, you don't. <laughs> okay, so uh, let me get one more of these guys. Sweet. Uh, and then get one more of these guys. Sweet. Okay, I'm, it looks like I'm almost out of emeralds. Holy balls. And uh, so there we go. Let me put all these emeralds back. And then let me do one of these. So let's, let's spam two of these in a row. So two of the same color at the same time. So uh, we'll wait until this shifts just so I, I make sure. Okay, so it's black. Okay, well, uh, we uh, that was that was just proven right. Okay, so the color does not matter. Um, <laughs> so I could just spam these. So that that was an experience orb or something. Did you guys see that? That was crazy. Uh, let's go ahead. Uh. <laughs> uh. Oh. <laughs> okay, so um, nothing good this time. But we got two experience orbs or something. That was crazy. Uh, also, remember, guys, our deal. If um, you guys get 100 likes. For every 100 likes, we're going to open up two of these bad boys. And I figured we'd go ahead and do, you know, four a day just because it's been a couple days since I've done this series. Uh, so what we're going to be testing, you guys might be pre... Oh, let me, let me go get some food here. What we're going to be testing today is uh, there's some... People will give me great suggestions on how to summon withers. And I'll put a door down here just to get him back in here. And I don't know where, um... <laughs> I don't know where freaking uh, Dexter went. I'll have to go search for him. Um... Anyways, some people give me some good ideas how to summon a wither. Now, some people said you summon skeletons in witch water. And then some people said you have to go, I need to summon the, the things in the nether. So, we're going to try both and see if both of them work. I'm um, not sure it, what else we're going to do today. But that's going to be the main course of action today. Because I need withers to summon wither skeletons. Because I need necrotic bones. And I need wither skulls. So, because we're going to make some, probably some heart canisters. I want to get like a full range of heart cancers and I need to kill a wither not only for like the beacon, the beacon would be really sick, but I also want to kill the wither for uh, the, uh, divina uh, the divination sigil. Yeah, divination sigil. Maybe we can get some cursed earth and uh, maybe get rid of that guy way up there and just kind of put a cursed earth farm down here or something. I'm not sure. We're just going to play with stuff. So, um, but before we do that, I just want to show you guys, I went ahead and automated these guys. Uh, pretty easy. Uh, you just put, you know, the recipes you want. So, like, one empty bucket equals one resonant bucket, bucket <laughs> or one empty cell frame equals one full cell frame. And then you just stick it in here, and then, um, you know, it goes through here and does stuff. And I have an export right here automatically exporting ender pearls into here. And then this guy's automatically exporting redstone, and then this guy's automatically exporting uh, glowstone. So we have all that. And then I have like, you know, the redstone frames and stuff. And then, you know, like all the glowstone stuff. And then I'm probably going to put a third one maybe. 
Uh, just hooked up to the power here that I can just use manually for uh, cryothium and pyrothium. So just that kind of stuff. And then all these are kind of uh, I got hardened glass and uh, indirium ingots and um, you know fluxed and invar and electrum. And then you know I have like some of this guy right here uh, making some rubber and you know just you know, kind of like on demand crafting as I need it. And this guy makes the tin and then the um, pulverized shiny so I can make the indirium stuff. I've actually been making some indirium. Let's look at this indirium. We have 19 so far. Uh, and that's because I want to make some maybe some tesseracts. I was thinking it might be kind of cool. So we actually do need one of these guys. Um, do we do we have enough? To, do we have the stuff to make this right now? Oh, we do. Okay, so we could actually. Um, oh, we only have one. Dang! I want to teach the recipe. So this needs that guy. Okay, so we're missing uh, this guy, which we have. Okay, sweet. Let's go ahead and make a bunch of these guys right there. Oh, it looks like I'm missing pl some plastic. No. No. <laughs> let's go ahead and make some plastic. Woo. Okay, let's go. I don't want to waste. I just want to use um, uh, stuff. Um, but I've also changed that guy over there that does the seed planting. I'll show you. It's really simple. Like, the design I came up with is way simpler than um, what I've seen online. And uh, I'll show you guys that here in a second. But let's make a couple of these just because I want to get the automation for this kind of up and running. Let's go ahead and make all of these into things, and then yeah, that's good. Let's uh, let's make another one of these guys. Eh, 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 eh. There we go. And now we're out of printed circuit boards. Okay. Uh, so let's make another one of these guys. So I'm gonna teach this recipe real quick. And this is by far probably one of the most advanced recipes we've done, uh, maybe. Um, so yeah, we're about to get a tesseract, guys. Yay! Yeah, <laughs> a test rock should be in this. Like, I feel like a test rock should be in this. Um, so yeah, we're pretty much done with all this stuff. Uh, I haven't been on, so the meat hasn't been doing its thing. Uh, pretty much all we need to do now is do this guy. This is the hard guy that I haven't done. So this is like the very last quest. And we'll need speed, which means we need a brewing setup. And we also need um, to make cake. So for cake, we need milk and sugar and that kind of stuff. We might actually try to get that done today. Uh, but the main goal is going to be te uh, testing uh, the, the stuff. Okay, so let me let me grab the test rack here. Uh, test rack. Okay, so this is just a full test rack. So we're going to say one empty test rack equals one full test rack. Sweet. Okay, nice. Let's go ahead and put this guy back right here. Nice. And put this guy back in here, and then we can just kind of stick uh, the the recipe for this right here, and we'll be good. Sweet. Okay, so everything is known and made, and all that kind of cool stuff. Uh, does this know how to make the finest the final test rack? I don't think it does. So this is just silver, silver and bronze. What? Uh, silver and bronze, eh? Okay, well, I actually haven't taught a recipe how to do bronze. Uh, let's do that real quick. <laughs> for some reason, I like I feel like I haven't used bronze for anything, really. I'm not sure. I, I could have. I, I could be wrong. So, yeah, it's just three copper and one tin. So, let's grab some. Let's see. Copper. Let's grab one, two, three, four, five, six. And then tin. Let's grab some tin out of this bad boy. Uh, we want uh, one, two. Yeah. Yeah, baby. <laughs> uh, so, uh, let's see, let's, uh, we'll just go ahead and maybe push some of this stuff in here, and some of that stuff in there, which is gonna make us some freaking bronze, it's gonna be fantastic, you should make four, right? Yeah, makes us some four tin, or four bronze, what am I talking about? Okay, clear, we wanna do three of this, one of this equals a four of this, sweet. Okay. So I actually think I'm gonna teach it to make a bunch of bronze just so we kind of have it on hand. And then where do I want to put this? What's the something that we use the least in this? Um, maybe I'll stick it right here for now. And then hopefully none of the stuff gets kind of messed up. Let's see, is any of the stuff filled now? Looks like it's working so far. <laughs> I need to just like not craft over a stack, but you know, like if I, I don't know, it's just kind of weird. So uh, bronze, let's make a bunch or er, uh, burger, 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 burger. Why you know? Why you know be thing? Why you know be thing? 
Okay, Tink oh, Tink okay, it's Tinker's Alloys. Also, <laughs> some people are mad, yeah, mad at me that there's one guy that's mad at me because I always call sh uh, Reed Sugarcane. So every time I look at the ME, I always look for Sugarcane. And I'm really sorry about that, but uh, I just think it's kind of funny. Um, I'm not doing it on purpose. It just I'm I'm really used to calling this uh, whatever. I'm gonna throw away this bronze. Uh, cause I don't feel like making a unifier and turning that into a thing. Okay, so, let's go ahead, um, <laughs> I know I've been, I've been doing stuff here. Let's go ahead and just stick all this in here. Uh, and then I'm gonna show you this guy, and then I'm gonna pause it, I'm gonna work on some stuff, and then I'll be right back. This is probably already 15 minutes long, I'm sorry, I'll make this an extra long episode. Um, cause I have plenty of time today to kind of chillax and, you know, breathe and do stuff. So, the way this guy works is, uh, if we look in here... So we have two triggers, one setting um, checks for the ID of 13, that's when it's a full grown state, and this guy also checks for the ID of 6, which is a full grown state. Those are the two steps before 14, which is the one where it summons the squid and explodes and do all that kind of cool stuff. Goes into a flow, goes into the input, uh, the block detector detects if it has either of those two plants at that stage grown. Um, if it doesn't, then... Um, It'll, I, I don't know, anyways, it, if it does, it'll break it and that kind of stuff. And then that was what we had before, except for I added this extra trigger here. Now what it does is it goes down. As soon as it breaks it, it uses this item valve and throws another one down. So let's go ahead and uh, just throw this in here. And I'm going to show you guys. So if I do this, it's going to grow. And then I'm going to... Um, do that it's cool see it broke and it actually absorbed both the seeds and threw another one it happens really fast so it's hard to see but it breaks that guy and then it throws another seed as you see we have more seeds in here now uh, i'll do this one more time breaks it throws another seed and we should have 16 yeah so uh or whatever 15 um but yeah it works pretty well i like it um the next step would really just be full and this is really simple this is just a few lines of code whenever episode 30 hits you guys can kind of copy this stuff and hopefully i'll have like um i'm not sure how i want to automate the bone mill i feel like the dispensers are really weird i was thinking more of using maybe like an autonomous activator uh but that would be really expensive uh let's see let's look at autonomous activator i don't think i think they're pretty easy to make now now that i have like kind of automation up and going um Let's see, Thomas Activator. Yeah, they're just a machine frame. Okay, they're not that bad. Um, also, this guy's doing real well. I've been auto-crafting with it, and... Oh, okay, well... I, it, oh, wait, I left it on. Dang it. Um, uh, dang it. No. No. Oh, it's, there we go. <laughs> no, I left it on. Dang it. I'm so bad. Okay, well, we'll let that... Oh, looks like we didn't lose any air to that, so that's good. This is just going to start filling up then. Okay, well, anyways, um, let me... How, how's this guy doing? Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, so pause it. Uh, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, what I was thinking we do is uh, <laughs> we could make some freaking, maybe like a jetpack. And I want to make the resident jetpack before we head into the nether. Uh, just so we can have a little bit easier building a platform. And maybe a jetpack's going to be useful anyways, and we need one. So, and we have plenty of stuff. So let's go ahead and try to make one of these guys. So I'm going to try to make, I, I taught the recipes how to make a resident flux capacitor here. So let's see if we can make one. Uh, oh, no, okay, there we go. We got a resonant flux capacitor. Nice. Now, let, let's look at uh, our, our Enderium here. We have nine left. So, let's go ahead and I want to make a couple of these thrusters here. I need a couple of these guys. Um, so, I'm going to teach this how to make, um, let's see, one of these guys. Uh, sweet. Okay, we're going to teach you how to make that. Let's tell it to make a couple resonant energy cells. So, how many do I actually need? I need um, one, th four. I need four of these guys. Four resonant energy cells. Okay, so let, 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 let's look up resonant energy cells. Let's tell this to craft one, two, three, four. Let's tell this to craft four of these guys. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and stick this in here. And then we're going to see. So it's missing redstone conductance coils. And this is actually going to be good to like kind of um, uh, teach myself like what I have and what I don't have. So it looks like I don't have any of the coils right now. Um, so actually, you know what would probably be better is if we... Actually, no, no, no. Here. Let's go ahead and teach us some of the coils here. So I need... Let's see. I want I want to make all of these guys. So I need that guy. I need that guy. I need this guy. And we should have plenty of Electrum and 
all that kind of stuff, uh, and uh, it's going to be pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and go to the next page here. <laughs> We're already on the next page, guys. Sweet. Okay, so, oh, it's already made one of them. Okay, it's made two of them. Uh, now it's crafting Enderium, and then if we come here, we're going to see that it's going to it's going to be filling this guy up with stuff, and then it should also be using this guy as well uh, whenever it um, gets to that point. And then it should be making uh, some stuff. Yep, it's making some Enderium. Nice. Well, I think what I'm going to do is, uh, oh, Oh, we just need one more. Um, okay, so what's the next step of this? Let's let's look up jetpack again. Uh, jetpack, uh, jetpack. We need. Uh, I already made the leather strap, so we'll have everything pretty much. Uh, we'll just need some more extra enderium. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to craft some extra enderium and then let this guy. Oh, it's already done it. Holy crap! We are good, guys. We are freaking good. Let's tell this to craft. Um. 20 sure why not and this is going to take a little bit so yeah i'm going to pause it right now guys okay we're back so i've been teaching how to do some little sub recipes and stuff so i had to teach you how to do the prc and uh just just some other stuff so i think we're ready to make the jetpack i already have two resonant thrusters uh which i had most of the stuff i've been doing this for maybe like five to ten minutes it hasn't really taken that long um because i already kind of had most of the stuff already in hand so let's oh we got a resonant jetpack guys yes Yes, okay, so uh, let's go ahead and charge this guy. This is going to take a lot of energy. That's going to take 10 million RF, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and stick this guy up, and then I have a couple extra resonant energy cells. Um, so I'm actually going to take a couple of these guys. Uh, we're going to, instead of wasting energy right here, we're going to set this to be uh, absorb through the back and output to the top. There we go. That's going to start doing some stuff. And then we're going to use this as like a little extra buffer guy. So we're going to set this guy to be exactly the same. Uh, sweet. So we have uh, these two as buffers. I'm going to throw... You know, I'm going to just throw this guy like... I'm just going to throw this guy... There we go. And he's just going to be like a, like a thing. Uh, let's just let's just say the output to the from the bottom or input from the bottom. So he'll just stay full in case we need him. And this guy is already full, pretty much. Um, so uh, actually, let's fill him up a little bit. Let's just go ahead and output to the right here, and he should. Yeah, he's filled up. He's filled up. So we have a spare resonant energy cell. Nice. We're gonna need this because. Um, I, well, I guess we have Tesseracts now, so we don't need to transport power. But let's go ahead and build the frame and go into the Nether. So it's gonna be exciting. Uh, how long is this gonna take? Oh, wow, that actually is charging pretty fast. I'm surprised. Um, so let's let's go ahead and do this. I'm not using the shovel, the main shovel, just because it would murder this, uh, this stuff right here. So one, two, three, four. There we go. Sweet. And then we can... Eh, we got a portal to the nether, guys. Sweet. Um, so let me, let, me, let me take some sweet picks here. Let, let, let me... There we go. Perfect. Okay, so that's going to be a pick for today. Um, so we got the nether portal open. Uh, let's go inside and check it out. Maybe I should grab my jetpack first. Ooh, but is it going to be hot in the nether? Maybe I should go ahead and refill my, my thing. Let's let's just do this manually real quick, real quick so we can go ahead and have it up and going. Eh. Uh, let's go ahead and throw some of this stuff in here. Um, and I probably shouldn't bring everything with me. Uh, let's just let's put some of this stuff away. Yeah, we'll put some of the stuff away. Uh, and I wonder if gas spawn here. That would be crazy, right? Maybe I should bring a bow with me. Or maybe some... Let's see. I have a bow, right? I have a bow somewhere. I don't know where it is. Okay, let's just, let's just, let's just go. Let's go. Let me grab my jetpack here. Uh, let me, let me, <laughs> let me throw it on. And then I think hover mode is C. And then, uh... Yeah, okay, 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 sweet. Okay, so we have that. Let's go into the nether. I wonder if it's going to be super hot. Actually, it's not hot at all. Sweet, and we have a jetpack, guys. Look at this. This is so sick. This will make traveling so much easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go like I'm gonna build a platform and stuff and then we're gonna test out these theories So I will be right back. Okay, we're back guys. So 
Uh, I've been doing some work. I've been going to town here. So this has probably been about, I don't know, maybe an hour or so. I'm not sure exactly how long. Um, re I just recharged my jetpack real quick. So what we're going to be doing is uh, coming in here and doing this. So this is what I built. Let's go ahead and put on the jetpack, fly around, and see what's going on. Okay, hover mode is enabled. Sweet. So this is what we got so far. Uh, it's just a little simple thing. I figure we might use the nether for a lot of cool stuff. I don't know. Uh, maybe comment down below if you guys have any cool ideas for the nether. But this is just a little spawning chamber. We're going to summon some skeletons and uh, do all that kind of cool stuff. So let's go ahead and uh, hook up this redneck cable. So I wanted to hook up this redneck cable. And um, I think I think this should be good, right? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Actually, maybe I should uh, maybe I should go ahead and stick the redneck cable right here. And then we'll stick a lever on top of that guy, maybe? Yeah, there we go. Sweet. Okay, so this has some uh, stuff. Let's go ahead and uh, put a safari net in here. Uh, where's my safari net? A skeleton safari net. Uh, let's give this guy some power. Give me the power. The power is all mine. Get down. Get to the chopper. Um, anyways. <laughs> so, uh, and I guess I'll put this guy maybe like right here and then I need to I need to disconnect this guy eh. there we go okay so disconnected uh, so uh, let me go back into the overworld here let me get a pneumatic servo and a couple stuff and I like the nether it's really cool uh, like and by cool I mean actually cool it's actually like nice and cold there um, so let's just grab a uh, I think we just need let's grab some fluid ducts here um, where are my fluid ducts at? Where are my fluid ducts be? Okay, so I have a couple in here, and then do I have a servo in here? Let's go ahead and get a, uh, a pneumatic servo. There we go. Sweet. Okay, so we'll get this guy. Let's run into the net, back into the nether real quick. Come on. You got this, man. Um, so we're looking to capture a wither skeleton, and that's going to be pretty sweet. And what we could do is, I don't have a cleaver, so I need to make a cleaver, but for now, we can just kind of like, I can summon them in here, kill them, we can get some wither skulls, and that kind of cool stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, come over here and do this guy. Eh. And then we want to do a little bit of eh, that, that action, there we go. And then, oh, uh, uh, no, no, no. Okay, so wither skeletons, okay, so... That for sure works. Let's uh, turn this off. Uh, let's um, let's uh, I I I I I, I want to capture a wither skeleton. So let's just get. I, there we go. Okay, so we have we have a wither skeleton uh, right here. Sweet. Uh, let's go ahead and just kill these guys. I I I I. There we go. Sweet. Okay, so. Now we can take the skeleton out of here. Uh, we can put the wither skeleton, summon exact copy, yes. And then now, now we got wither skeletons, guys. So let's go ahead and turn this on. Let's uh, turn this guy on. Uh, let me, let me, let me put some of my water on. There we go. So this should start summoning exact copies of what I actually what I need is I need a um, a freaking vacuum hopper or something here, and then. Uh, <laughs> uh, Oh, this could be like a coal farm as well. I didn't even think about using wither skeletons for coal. That might be pretty sweet. Hmm, maybe we'll set that up. Uh, just in case we need coal, not if, uh, you know, like we have to have coal or whatever. Oh, there's a wilton, uh, wither skeleton skull right there. Um, sweet. Okay, so we got some wither skeletons. Let's go ahead and turn this guy off. Uh, let's go make a vacuum hopper real quick. And get a chest. And that'll be sweet. And this farm will be freaking done. And then what we're going to do is we're going to test out the witch water as well. Just to see if witch water can summon wither skeletons. Um, I've never tried it before. I've, I have turned villagers into witches using it. And I think you can do a couple other stuff. But I'm not 100% I'm not sure on that. So let's make a vac. Do I have a vacuum? I have to have a vacuum hopper just lying around probably. Let's go ahead and... No, it doesn't. All right, whoa, man. Whoa, buddy. Yeah, yeah, you don't want none now, do you? <laughs> uh, let's see, so, uh, looks like I don't have a vacuum hopper just lying around. I thought I did for some reason. Okay, we'll just make a vacuum hopper, no big deal. Uh, vacuum hopper. Um, so this guy just needs interpol, hopper, and obsidian. So let's see, do I have any of that stuff on me right now? 
Oh, I do. Okay, sweet. Uh, then let's make a chest. Uh, let's get a... Actually, you know what? You know what? Let's, uh... Oh, this guy has a chest in it. Okay, sweet. Okay, so let's go back in the nether and set this guy up. I don't think um, items in the nether will despawn if I'm not there, right? Because it's not, like, chunk loaded. Yeah, I don't think so. So let's go ahead and eh, kill these guys. I need to put a thing on... Yeah, I'm going to put a thing on top. Uh, let, let me go ahead and kill these guys, and then I'll go ahead and fix this. Eh. Okay, so let's go ahead and kill all of these. And then uh, let me... Let me uh, refix these guys real quick. I just want to stick. Uh, ah, this is fine. I think I have plenty of uh, stuff on me. So there we go. We got a nice big view of their feet, their little toesies. And then we're going to stick the vacuum hopper, I think, uh, right here. Yeah, we'll stick the vacuum hopper right here. And we can even use this to collect experience, too. This could just be like a little experience farm. So I might get a drum and stick over here as well. But let's, for now, let's uh, should I stick the chest underneath of it. Yeah, maybe we'll stick the chest underneath of it. And we'll, uh... Oh, oh, oh. Nope. Nope, that's not... Ah, oh, dang, what are you doing? There we go. Let's, uh... There we go. Okay, so... And then we're going to set this to output from the bottom to there. We look in here. And, uh, look, we got a Wither Skeleton's Call. Nice! Okay, so let's summon some more of these guys and just kind of, uh, play with it a little bit. And this is... Is this, uh, summoning up? No, no, no. Okay. Okay. Sweet. Give me your coal, demon. Hey, demon. Yeah. Uh, and I really need to make a cleaver. That's going to be uh, next on the to-do list. I'll probably make that off camera. And I figured I would go ahead and just make it out of uh, manulum. And maybe try to upgrade all my tools to manulum. Uh, but I need a lot of soul sand. So, um, there we go. Come here, guys. Yeah. Yeah, baby. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pause it, uh, and then uh, we're, I'm going to build something in the overworld, and we'll be right back, guys. Okay, we're back, guys. So, I've made a few changes to this. I just got rid of the half slabs, and I had some food because I was killing some withers, and uh, <laughs> I noticed I kept running out of food. So, we're going to summon some, just show you guys a little bit. I also uh, uh, did the, the skeleton spawner in the overworld. We'll go check that out here in a second. And, uh, yeah, we just want to summon one of these guys. And, you know, they can't hit me, but they're easy to hit like this. And uh, I think it works out pretty well. And then this guy just sucks them up. I have two wither skeletons so far, so maybe we'll fight the wither soon. I would like to get some heart canisters, though. So I think the goal is maybe to get ten hearts, ten extra hearts. And then uh, maybe we'll fight, like, a bunch of withers once we think we're prepared and try to get, like, ten yellow hearts. Because I think the withers... Uh, give yellow hearts when they die. I'm not sure. I can't remember what exactly gives yellow hearts. Uh, but yeah, I just added some food here, and uh, if we shift right click, I have a couple of meals here, just in case I get hungry while I'm whacking away and doing that kind of cool stuff. So let's go back over here in the overworld, and uh, ah, there we go. Sweet. Uh, and I got this just in case uh, some pigmen happen to spawn. Um, I don't think they will, but if they just so happen to spawn, then that's going to be a thing. So let's go up here, and then, um, so what I did was I just made this a platform, I put witch water on top, and then I got the skeletons ready to summon right here, and I think this does work. Uh, <laughs> spoiler alert, I might have tried it out. So let's go ahead and summon some skeletons here, and it makes 100% of the skeletons into withers. So this actually works as well, so whichever way you guys prefer, whichever way you think is easier, maybe the, um, honestly the witch water might be easiest to do just as far as if you're if you can already make auto spawners and stuff that might be easiest to do so let's go ahead and wait for some skeletons to spawn you can do it uh did this fill up with juice yes it did sweet okay so let's let's go back and see if any wither skeleton spawn yeah there we go there's a wither skeleton or i mean there's a skeleton and if we come down here they all turn into wither skeletons so it does work Yes! Okay, so, uh, two ways to get weather skeletons, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, thank you guys for your suggestions. They were super helpful. Let's go ahead. No. No, no, no. <laughs> Looks like this is the way. I probably need to bring this up one more, actually. But, uh, yeah! Uh, that, I think I'm going to call it there, guys. Uh, we tested several ways to get weather skeletons, and we have weather skeletons. Um... I showed you guys some of the automation. We did some pretty cool stuff today, and it's actually been several hours for me. So I'm going to go ahead and call it here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to go ahead and click that like button. It really helped me out. I love y'all's faces, and I'll see you guys next time. Also, I went ahead and made a uh, smooth stone barrel just because I needed it for the platform and that kind of cool stuff. So, 
Yeah. Uh, and maybe next time we'll work on uh, getting some red hearts. I'm going to try to make a cleaver as well. Maybe a manual cleaver. And we're going to try to get some necrotic bones. I'm not sure if it's like a, a low drop chance or if I need a cleaver to get them. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but yeah. Um, I love you guys and hopefully you have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys next time. Yay.